Happy Friday, my purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we arrived here in Salacion Town, we're going to continue on today and explore the Salacion Ruins. We actually have a lot we need to take care of today, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to get through it all. We need to make our way back to the Lost Tower. We're going to run around here and explore everything. Once again, thank you guys for your tips and your comments. They're really much appreciated. Make sure you guys give this video a like. It really helps the series. Let's continue running around here though and we are going to have our first battle As I was saying guys, there's going to be a lot for us to do today. Not only do we have to explore the Salacion Ruins, but we need to go back to the Lost Tower. And the reason we're here in the Salacion Ruins is like Barry said, we're actually looking for an HM. Now the Salacion Ruins are a bit of a maze, so if you don't end up in a little area where there's just that one stone, you're probably headed in the right direction. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Explore around and hopefully I'll be able to find the HM that I'm looking for. It's basically going to be one big room with a bunch of items in it. If you go ahead and find that room like I just did you should be great we just obtained HMO5 defog and I'll be teaching that to one of our Pokemon very soon now other than that I don't think there's too much here in the Salacion ruins I know there's gonna be a thunderstone and a water stone which I'm going to be going in search for because you never know when we could use that you never know when we'll get a Pokemon that evolves through the stones so hopefully we can find those here today and then we'll continue back to Lost Tower because there's actually still quite a bit for us to do in the Lost Tower now I actually need to explore around and figure out where exactly these these stones are gonna be hidden I know they're gonna look like it's an area like this and they're, they're just gonna be invisible items that are on top of the stones So let's hope that we can find it I also really do hope you guys are having a good Friday that you guys have enjoyed your week We found Thunderstone, so there we have it. I know it's been a long week for me I don't know why whether it's the weather whether it's the weather weather whether it's the that's all I pretty much have to say I don't really know why it would feel so much longer where the heck is this last stone anyways let me go ahead and see if I can find it I also thought it could be because it's the end of a month and February is about to come up I feel like once the months start rolling in you know once you get a little bit past January people start realizing that you know it's definitely a new year and it's, it's something big you know it's really the start of a new year in January you're still a little bit in that like you know honeymoon phase of holidays I think you would say but once you get to February you start cracking down you're like oh there's so much to do this year there's so much I want to accomplish it's about time for me to do it so maybe that's why it is also I thought there was gonna be a Pokemon inside of here and I'm kind of surprised we didn't run into one I guess there might not be any Pokemon located inside of the Salacion ruins which is okay with me I mean we still have a bunch we need to catch today oh you guys also have told me that the Lost Tower is part of the previous route so I won't be catching a Pokemon there guys I'll just be making it to the top of the tower and battling whoever it is we need to I want to make sure that we're we're following the rules pretty good here in the randomizer nuzlocke and so far we've been doing good you know I'm really surprised that we've actually got this far I was a little nervous going into this randomizer nuzlocke but so far so good uh, we have a really strong team our team is fantastic they're all about level 27 by the way right now guys except Woody who's a little bit lower but I also went ahead and gave Woody the XP share all right let me go ahead and teach defog to one of our Pokemon then who should I teach it to link already has cut so I guess we could put defog on link. Let me see what kind of moves we have. Ooh, honestly, nothing I really want to get rid of. These are all pretty decent moves for now to have on our link. So you know what, guys? I think I'm going to go ahead and actually teach this. I think Rhaegar was the only other Pokemon that could learn it. So we'll go ahead and teach it to Rhaegar. We'll just forget a random move. If anything, we'll go ahead and talk to the move deleter later on. And we'll forget this whole defog thing. You know, we'll forget this whole thing ever happened. We'll completely forget about this HM. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Twister. Twister is a decent move. 
move, but we do need defog right now. So that's what we have to do. We have to make these sacrifices on our teams. And with that, guys, we are ready to make our way to the Lost Tower then. So let's head inside then. And I'm actually really excited. Once again, I said this is Route 209, so we won't be catching a Pokemon, you know, atop the Lost Tower. It's technically not a different area. So I'm just going to, you know, continue on and hope we can make our way to the top without getting too lost. This is one of those places where Pokemon are supposed to come and pass away, which is definitely a little sad. It makes you wonder if the Pokemon that we've previously had on our in our adventure could actually be here. If you think about it, Alto and Coral could be here somewhere. You know, located here in the Lost Tower, trying to find their way back home. You never know. It's kind of crazy to think about when you actually go through a game where your Pokemon are considered to be out. I believe we're going to have a battle, though, so let's go ahead and challenge this guy. I gotta say, those Ice-type Pokemon freak me out a little bit. I am still hoping that we get a Fire-type soon, guys. I am crossing my fingers every time we run into a route, and I'm hoping that the Randomizer will give us a Fire-type. But hopefully that'll be coming a little sooner than we expect. Which path should I take? I'm trying to think. It, I don't think it really matters too much. Rhaegar's already took a bunch of damage for today, though. I think I'm gonna head down this way, so let's go ahead and take her on. Okay, that was pretty simple. Also, you don't have to battle everybody here, but I mean, if you guys want to, I think it's a really good place to get experience. We also got TM27 to return. That is a really, really good TM for us to find here. Let's continue going up, though, and there we go. We have made it to the top. Now, as you can see, these ladies say that the fog is obscuring everything, so we're going to go ahead and use defog, and this is the main reason we actually climbed up here. It is to help these two old ladies out because they're going to give us items that can definitely help us out on our adventure. Oh, the fog is gone with it all. This is my thanks. Don't be shy. With that, we obtain the spell tag. And if we talk to the other lady, she'll go ahead and give us another tag. So that's pretty much why they're up here. It's kind of sad, honestly, if you think about it, that these two old ladies are up here, you know, paying their respects to their Pokemon that are long departed. You never know what could have happened to them or, you know, what just went on between them and their Pokemon that led to them, you know, passing away. It's kind of sad to think about it, that Pokemon truly are kind of like... You know, their own little people and they have their own little minds and just the fact that, you know, one day they end up passing away even if they've been, you know, your partner for so long. It's kind of sad. It's it's really, you know, it kind of brings you down a little bit thinking about it because of all the adventures that you could have gone on with your Pokemon. It's kind of crazy to think about it if you just put yourself in the Pokemon world. But you know what? At least for now, we don't have Pokemon in our real world. So I guess we only have to experience these types of losses inside of the game. Let me go ahead and use a Super Repel, though. I know we have the tag, but I'm just going to go ahead and just try to get us out of here, out of this place as fast as we can, because it is a very, very strange area, honestly. It, it's kind of weird going to these places where Pokemon are supposed to be resting it's just like you know it's kind of chilly coming through here now you know what i kind of really want this item because i want to see what it is so let's go ahead and battle this guy Okay, with that, we went ahead and obtained an Oval Stone. Now, I actually don't remember what an Oval Stone is exactly, but with that, guys, we are done here in the Lost Tower. So, finally, we paid our respects to our long-departed Pokemon, Alto and Coral, who... Who knows where they are? They're probably running around, you know, doing something, maybe in the Lost Tower, maybe not. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to heal up our Pokemon, then we'll be able to continue out of here. Now, we actually have a really long route coming up, which is going to give us the opportunity to catch a couple more Pokemon, you know, add them to our team, and hopefully, just maybe, we'll bump into a Fire-type. I know that that's what everybody's been waiting for. All of you guys are waiting for us to bump into a Fire-type, and believe me, I am too. I'm hoping that we'll be able to bump into one sooner rather than later. 
later. So let's go ahead and make our way out of here then towards Route 210. But you know what, guys? Really thinking about it, I could probably use to buy a couple great balls. So let me go ahead and actually turn back. Also, another thing that I want to let you guys know is that while I was training Martha, Martha actually learned False Swipe as well. So now we have Link and Martha who can catch Pokemon, which is really cool. That'll give us a little bit more of a type advantage. I didn't realize we had this much Pokemon money, but I guess that is good to see. The Amulet Coin must be coming in pretty clutch right now. I'm glad we, we found that because look how much money we have. I don't think we had close to this much money last time so i'm gonna go ahead and just stock up on everything because i know it's gonna be a really really long route and i just hope that our team will be able to make it through it right now we're at a pretty decent level i'd say right about level 27 is where i want to be because i don't want to be too overpowered but i also don't want to be just a complete you know weakling going up against all these random trainers all right let me see where exactly does i need to go as i said i like riding my bike around i think i'm pretty good at riding this thing i say that and i can't even make it up the hill there we have it I am looking quite good and now should we actually evade these trainers with that though guys we bumped into a random battle though let's see what it's gonna be very cool so it's a spirit tomb that is actually really really strong pokemon for us to bump into definitely some randomization is going on here and i don't know why i even bothered going for the false swipe that is not going to work on this pokemon this might be a little bit harder of a Pokemon to catch. Honestly, I think it's going to be, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out. We're going to bring out Woody. I hope that Woody will not KO the Spirit Tomb. It's a very strong Pokemon. This is definitely a Pokemon that could help us out the further we get into the adventure because it is pretty crazy of a Pokemon, honestly. I remember facing a Spirit Tomb a couple times, and I was like, this Pokemon is really, really annoying, so it'll probably be good to have. You know, it's funny. It's those Pokemon that really annoy you or the ones that just, like, infuriate you that turn out to be some of the best teammates. I think I always got mad at, like, Zubats in caves, and then once it came out, too, and I actually used one of my team, and I got a Crobat, I was like, this thing is awesome, I can use, like, Confuse, uh, Confuse Ray on everybody, and then, you know, I'm, I'm the one on the opposite side just watching their characters, you know, just hit each other, and it's kind of funny to see, but, you know, personally, I, I don't know, I, I would not like to go up against those Pokemon if I don't have to, unless if they're on my team. So with that, let's see if we can take down the Spirit Tomb, though. Oh, great. It put me to sleep. This is cool. I think one more Water Gun would have actually knocked this thing down a little bit, too. But you know what, guys? We are going to go for the Great Ball, and we're going to hope for the best here. Let's hope that we can actually catch this Pokemon. As I said, Spirit Tomb is actually really, really good. It's not going to go down without a fight, is it? Okay. Okay, so that that's how it's going to be. You know what? I'm just going to keep throwing Great Balls at it, and we're going to hope that we can catch it here. I don't know every single catch rate of every single Pokemon, so I got to just hope for the best. And with that, there we have it, guys. Spirit Tomb was caught very cool. So, that was a very easy catch for us. A uh, pretty good catch, I would say. You know, it wasn't a fire type, but it's something that is definitely going to come in handy. It's a ghost dark, so very cool. It says it's an odd keystone by a mysterious spell. It was bound to an odd keystone. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a nickname, and I'm actually just going to call it a little something I just read. We're going to go ahead and call this Pokemon Odd, because it is an odd Pokemon. And with that, it has been transferred to PC, so we can continue going on in this route. Now, there's a path to the left, and I got to tell you guys, it's been a long time since I've explored Sinnoh, so I'm not really sure what that path to the left is going to lead to but we are gonna have ourselves a battle It's funny, whenever I bump into a Pokemon that I know we don't have a type advantage for, I'm like, up, oh, just send out Rhaegar. Rhaegar and his Dragon Rage has got it. He can two-hit pretty much any Pokemon. We have made it to the Cafe Cabin, though. So, what is this? Why are there so many Psyducks just, like, blocking this path? I guess we can't even head that way because the Psyducks are kind of blocking it off. Let's talk to her. It's going to be a battle.
good thing we have map to deal with those pesky ice types. So I actually came in here because I wanted to buy a little bit of Moo Moo Milk. I think it's kind of cool. They sell it by the dozen. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick some up. Moo Moo Milk is actually pretty good. I definitely pick some up. It heals up your Pokemon quite a bit. It's a pretty good replacement for the Super Potion, I believe. So it's definitely something that can help you guys out. All right. Now we continue on to Route 215. So this is another route that we can catch another Pokemon in. So that is definitely something that we're going to be doing. Let's hope that it'll be a good Pokemon, guys. That's all I can say. Here in Route 215, we haven't really explored this place before. So let's just hope for the best and uh, hope it'll be something that can help us. But we have a battle. These battles have been pretty easy so far, but I keep noticing that we keep getting poison and everything, so hopefully we'll get some full heal soon. Right now, I feel like I'm relying a lot on these berries. That's why I told you guys I was going to pick up as many berries as possible at the beginning of this adventure, because I knew how much tougher it was going to get. So you know what? Once in a while, my crazy strategies that don't make a whole lot of sense, like picking every single berry you see, tend to work out. Let's go ahead and go to the right, though. I'm pretty sure I saw an item over here. I highly suggest you explore like every little nook and cranny in this game too because there's some really good items Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this item is then. We found a fist plate. Very nice. We've actually been finding a lot of plates. So we have the dragon plate, the Draco plate, the fist plate, and the mind plate. So pretty cool. Three plates we've already found here. Anytime now, guys, we'll start bumping into our little fire type. So let's hope for the best. You know, if we could just bump into any little fire type, I'll take anything at this point. I'll take a little Ponyta. I'll take, I'll take a little Vulpix. I think a little Vulpix would be nice to have on our team. I can't wait for the day we actually get a fire type. Watch it be like the most ridiculous fire type. The, the one fire type that nobody ever uses on their team. That would be really, really funny. I can't think of it. It might be... Flareons aren't used very often, I would say. So I'd have to see what kind of Pokemon it is. Really? A Staravia? Okay, well, Dupe Claws, guys. We already caught a Staravia before. So there's no point in us catching another one. Even if Rip, Alto, you know, regardless, we had caught one before. So Dupe Claws, the Staravia. Let's keep running around, though. Hopefully, we'll bump into my little fire type that I've been waiting for for so long since the beginning of this adventure. You know, what do you have to do to get a fire type here in this game? Honestly, what do you have to do now let's see where i'm headed actually it's been a while since i've been through these routes i gotta tell you that it's been quite a while Ooh, i could see something special hiding over there though whenever they put these little items a little bit hidden away i just have to go for them with that we found tm 34 shockwave though and that's actually a really really good move so very cool and with that guys let's go ahead and run into the grass and we really a mudkip oh my goodness the one thing I probably didn't need is a water type. I am good with water types and ground types. I am fine right now. How about we get a freaking fire type? You know what? I'll even take an electric type at this point. I will take an electric type Pokemon. But with that, guys, let's see if we can catch this Mudkip. Regardless, we bumped into it. So I'm going to try to catch it. Also, Mudkip is actually a really cool Pokemon. Mudkip's a starter. I got to say, Mudkip, you know, ends up turning into a really really strong pokemon so it's not like it's a bad catch at all it's definitely a good catch bumping into a starter randomly in the wild just does not happen so at least the randomizer is having some sort of mercy on us with that though guys we went ahead and caught the mudkip so simple catch very very easy catch right here i gotta say i'm okay with catching a mudkip definitely something that can help us so i'm okay with catching this one so the fin on its head senses the flow of water it has the strength to heft boulders i'm gonna go ahead and give it an 
nickname then. And it's just gonna be a quick and random nickname. Also, it's a male Mudkip. So we actually have a lot of females on our team as is. So maybe we're starting to balance out. I'm gonna call it Muddy. And with that, Muddy is gonna go ahead and be transferred to the PC. So very cool, guys. We added another Pokemon to our team. Let me go ahead and actually use a couple items, though. I wanna make sure that, you know, we're able to make it through here today. I, I wanna get through this route. And I don't wanna battle any trainers that I don't have to for now since training has actually been really easy a lot of you guys have been asking me where I train up I feel like that's a question I get a lot of the time and honestly guys just train in the grass that's all I've been doing it's just grinding out in the grass it takes a bit of time but that's probably the best way to do it right now just grinding out in the grass and just healing up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center with that though I'm gonna go ahead and just prepare our Pokemon because it does seem like we have a doubles battle coming up and you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna put out the a squad the the boys I'm gonna let them out we're gonna put speedy and Rhaegar up in front this is my tag team duo and let's go ahead and take on these trainers Okay, so that was a little bit tougher of a battle than I expected, but I feel like we have made it to the next town, which is really, really good. We're actually really close by. This was a really long route, but at least we added two new Pokemon to our team that are going to help us out along our adventure. Definitely two good additions. A Spirit Tomb and a Mudkip? I can't complain about that. I have to say, that is some good randomized luck. Let's go ahead and enter, then, our newest city. So let's see where we've ended up this time, guys. We have made it to Veilstone City. Very cool. There seems to be some Team Galactic grunts around here. It seems to be like a pretty big city too. There's going to be a gym here. So we're gonna have a lot coming up here at Veilstone, guys. So make sure you guys leave me your tips and your comments on what's coming up. You know, leave me some suggestions. I could definitely use your guys' help as we start exploring this city. It looks like there's gonna be a ton to do around this town. I can't even find the Pokemon Center around this place. Veilstone City. Wow. This place is huge, but with that, guys, we'll continue our adventure from here next time, so make sure you guys give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's really, really appreciated. I love when you guys, you know, help me out and leave me tips and just guide me in the right direction because you never know. Also, once again, we have no idea what this gym is going to be that's coming up, so it could be something really good or something really tricky once again. So, as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.